This is the Boeing E3 Century. It is a modified Boeing 707-320 commercial airframe. Pushing this aircraft is four Pratt & Whitney TF-33 PW-100A turbofan engines. Each is capable of providing 20,500 pounds of thrust with all providing an optimal cruise speed of 360 miles per hour or 312 knots with a range greater than 5,000 nautical miles. Along with its iconic 360 degree rotating radar dome, this makes it an AWACS or Airborne Warning and Control System. It is able to provide real-time, all-weather, early warning situational awareness to friendly and allied air assets and direct them to potential air threats. It can do this for up to 8 hours without refueling, but it can do it for longer with its aerial refueling capability and crew resting area for its 4 flight crew and 13 to 19 mission crew. Housed in that rotating radar dome is a Westinghouse ANAPY-1 or ANAPY-2 radar system. Many airframes have upgraded to the ANAPY-2 along with the radar system improvement upgrades, so we'll talk more about this one. With its identifying friend or foe capability, it can detect approximately up to 600 targets whether they be friendly or hostile. Its radar range is 250 to 320 miles. Its radar is also capable of looking down for low altitude threats, such as aircraft immediately taking off from an airbase. Its radar range for this is approximately 230 to 290 miles. It even has the capability of maritime target detection, and the range for this is approximately 190 miles. It also contains the capability to detect threats with a smaller radar cross-section, such as cruise missiles. The Sentry is even capable of electronic intelligence gathering with its ANAYR-1 system. If an enemy radar is sweeping around the Sentry, it can process and determine the type from the radar frequency, improving its own and friendly situational awareness greatly. Speaking of situational awareness, the Sentry can data link targets to friendly fighters, targets that the fighter's radar hasn't seen yet. The E3 Sentry has shown its capability in many operations such as Desert Storm, Allied Force, Northern and Southern Watch and many more, and is even still ongoing in Operation Noble Eagle. The U.S. Air Force plans to replace the E-3 Sentry with the E-7 Wedgetail in early 2027. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and if you're new here, subscribe. And if you didn't, well, you know what to do. Until then, stay safe out there.